Good morning, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters. www.orlandopainters.net We're at the CKS Package Incorporated plant on Orange Avenue in Orlando, Florida, right before, uh, right at the intersection of Sand Lake Road and Orange Avenue, just right down the road from it. We're here at CKS refurbishing two of their silos that have been out of commission for a number of years and we're going to refurbish them for them and we're going to put them back into use and production and start making money from them. This is uh, day number two. And it just non-stop, you know, dealing with the corrosion that's on these tanks. They're very, very old. I mean, as you can see, all the seam lines, all the rings, and the verticals as well, they're all bolts. Nowadays, you know, when they do, you know, metal silos are generally welded. So, When you see them all bolted up like this, you know they're pretty old. We do a lot of, a lot of uh, silo painting, tank painting, so. These are metal, have quite a bit of corrosion on them. We're using you know, angle grinders with uh, attached metal grinding discs and attached wire wheels. Know, putty knives, everything, whatever we can do to get this rust off these tanks. You can see there's guys on the top of these tanks. Those are, this side right here at the very tops, really bad. And then the very tops of these silos are really corroded. And that's the case, in, in most cases, that's, the corrosion is generally the worst at the top. On these tops here, there's not much of a pitch, so they have a lot of, you know, free stain and just still water up there after it rains. It just sits up there and sits up there until the sun eventually evaporates it, but, you know, if it sits up there for two, three, four days, it's kind of doing damage, causing rust, so. Now the, those, those top caps are pretty flat. Most of the time, you know, these days they have them pitched really well, so water runs right off of them but you know these were built years and years and years ago so so we're just uh, gonna spend a few days on these tanks I think I have seven eight or nine guys here I'm not sure how many right now but they're gonna spend a few days just grinding grinding I mean each one of these bolts all the way around the tops of these rings here, you can see them. The very tops have a lot of rust on them. Kind of hard to see from this angle on the ground, but when you look downwards, it's pretty much, you know, where they have a lip on there, so water sits on there all the time when it rains. It starts to cause the, you know, the corrosion process begins. So. so we'll deal with all the you know, rust and corrosion problems on these tanks. Then we'll pressure wash them all, get all the uh, old oxidized paint off of them. Get all the, you know, the metal grinding dust off of them. Get them nice and clean. Any mildew, any dirt, any other contaminants that are on it, we're gonna get all that off. Then we're gonna apply a two-part epoxy primer which deals with rust very well. I mean, you have your standard, you have your standard water-based primer, which is, you know, absolutely worthless when it comes to uh, rust. I mean, just worthless. Then you have your kind of like your household oil-based uh, primers, you know, which like, you know, like kills and stuff like that, which are definitely not anywhere near the industrial strength that you need on 
you know, structures like these. Then you can go to like your xylene based primers, which would be like, you know, Thurman Williams, Chemchromic Universal Metal Primer, which works pretty well. But you, you'll, you'll start to see after, you know, a year or so, you'll start to see some rust popping through that. So we're going to step it up and put a uh, two-part epoxy primer, like a macro, macro epoxy 646. And then we're going to finish coat it all with a uh, high-performance acrylic. And this, this high-performance acrylic is, again, another uh, line of uh, Sherwin-Williams, the Marine, Marine Division, Industrial Coatings Division product. Super durable, nice, nice gloss to it. Now, one thing I like about it is the color stays true, and you don't see mildew growing on it like you do when you use like oil-based products. Oil-based products outside, yeah, they're a little bit more durable, but they certainly fade and get chalky faster. But the but the biggest problem with oil-based products outside, especially in Florida, where you have all the humidity and rain and stuff all the time, is mildew grows on oil-based products. I mean, unbelievable. They're made with seed oil, so you know what what's in oil-based products are actual you know food for mildew. So anytime you see an oil-based product outside, you, know, you use it on one of these metal structures or something you're gonna see mildew follow right behind it very quickly. So you're constantly, constantly cleaning it and maintaining it. So out here, it's just like, you know, you're gonna, every six months, you're gonna have, you know, somebody out here pressure washing these tanks. You don't have to go that route, you know? You use your two-part epoxy primer on these tanks. Do your grinding, do your cleaning. Step it up on your primer. Use your two-part epoxy primers. They work 10 times better than, you know, your inferior uh, primer. Then use a high performance acrylic. We're not talking house paint here. We're talking high performance acrylics. You know, industrial line of, of industrial uh, of acrylic, um, high performance acrylic paints. That's going to give you durability. It's going to give you great color retention. It's going to give you a great uh, gloss finish. I think actually on this tank we're going to go um, the high performance acrylic is actually a, a semi gloss. Help it keep, you know, help it stay nice and clean. No mildew growth on the tank. No color changes. That's another thing when you use oil-based products. You know, especially these tanks are going to be pure white. You use an oil-based product, and everyone knows, you know, what happens when you put oil-based products down. You know, especially if you use a white. Next thing you know, you know, a year or two down the road, you got a yellow tint to it because the resins rise to the top and. And you got, you know, yellow tanks, which, you know, doesn't look very appealing. But we'll do all the safety yellow handrails up there as well. It'll be nice, pure white, with safety yellow handrails. The biggest part of this job is just, you know, safety issues. We're an OSHA certified company. We have a safe OSHA safety program implemented in our company. As you can see, there's two guys in that basket and two guys in the other basket. Harnesses tied off. Two guys up on the top of the silos. Same thing, harnesses tied off. Real workers' compensation, big general liability insurance policy, certified in many, many uh, specialty coatings. So, we'd like to thank everyone in Orlando who relies on Orlando painters to take care of their industrial painting. We certainly appreciate it. To uh, CKS Packaging, thank you very much. We definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate the business. And to all of our commercial and industrial clients throughout all of Central Florida, we really appreciate the business. Thank you very much. Again, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters. 
407-267-5886. We're here at CKS Packaging Plant on Orange Avenue in Orlando, Florida. Thanks for watching our industrial silo painting project. I'll have many before, during, and after photos of this project. Probably another video as well. Just want to show you uh, the public out there some of the type of work that Orlando Painters does. Obviously we do residential, commercial, industrial. This is my industrial crew here and we have a residential crew as well. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.